There was an incident in Australia. Right. It made the news, I guess. Right. <laughs> what exactly happened? What exactly happened was it was my last show. I had been having, I did about eight shows in eight different cities. We're wrapping up. We're about to come home. I'm singing the last song to a, a white young lady. And um, the reason I say the race she is because it plays an important role. As I'm finishing singing, people have been saying nigga, this and that, oh, really? yelling at me all day. You know, it was really. In the, in the audience. Yeah. And I'm so embarrassed about the whole Australia situation because I'm not that guy. Mm -hmm. um, but I was singing to a lady, and um, some guys in the crowd didn't like it. I didn't have security. There was security at the venue, but they weren't kicking the guys out. They were throwing bottles, calling me nigga, um, stuff that I thought I could handle, but I couldn't. And it kind of just got the best of me since the security wouldn't escort them out. And so I just called them out on stage and, and kind of made things worse. And they actually jumped on stage. Yeah, they jumped on stage and tried to fight, but nobody could really get to me. Okay. Yeah. Was there any charges or anything else like that? Or No, you know, I felt bad about it, and I, I really apologized to everybody in the venue and stuff like that, you know. I had to get snuck out the country because the guys were a part of a, a big biker gang out there. They were actually some tough dudes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody oh. was mad, and, you know, it kind of seemed like a lot of people just started having a wrong impression, so we decided to get out of the country. Okay. Biker gang, was it an R&B concert? Exactly. I mean, but <laughs> Australia loves R&B. No, that's true. They do. Yeah, and and hip-hop. But that, that lets you know, why would a biker gang be there? They was just there to hate. Just, just there to, to, hate to, to cause problems. Yeah.